What's up guys, this is Shivain and in this video, I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that Windows cannot access the specified device path or file. So this is a viewer's request and if you want us to make a solution video for a problem that you guys are encountering, then just comment down below or email us and we will make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first method to solve this problem is to modify the permission of the file or the folder. So in order to do that, just right click on the problematic file or folder and then click on properties. After you open up the properties tab, then select the securities tab and in the securities tab, you'll find a group uh, of username and then just click on the edit button. And after that, in the list, select all the users that you have, including yourself and the administrators and make sure that the permissions are all allowed and none of them are denied so make sure that you check all the allow column and uncheck all the deny column in this window after that just close the file refresh your pc or restart it and check whether that fixes your problem if that does not fix a the problem then we move on to the next step the next method is to actually change the file location so if you're not able to open a file which is located in your desktop then just copy it and then paste it to another drive that is your d drive or your e drive and then try to open it from there if that doesn't work then make sure that if it is a shortcut the shortcut doesn't actually lead to a non-existent file location so to verify the file location and whether the file exists or not just right click on the shortcut and then go to its properties and in properties under the journal tab you'll find in the information about the file or the folder that you have after that you can check the location and it will show you the path of the file that you're trying to access or modify just copy this path and then open up your file explorer and then in the header section just paste the file path that you copied using the ctrl plus p keyboard shortcut and then click on enter after that you can review if you find the desired file in this location if you cannot find the file that means it has most likely been deleted or moved. So you have to check your computer for the actual location of the file. Now let's move on to the next step. So the next step is to unblock the file. So just right click on the problematic file and then click on properties. Then in properties, go to the journal tab and then here check. If you see the text, this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer next to the security section. If you do, then just check the unblock option and then click on OK and try to open the file again. If that does not work, then we move on to the next step that is to recreate a shortcut of the file. So in order to do this, just click on the empty space on your desktop and then choose new and then shortcut. Then once the shortcut tab opens, just hit the browse button and locate the file that you're trying to access or modify. Then just click on next and name the file and try to open this shortcut in order to open the actual file now if even this doesn't work then you can try temporarily disabling your third party antivirus so for me i'm using the bitdefender so i can just go to the bitdefenders app and then just go to its settings and then turn off protection and then try opening the file again to check whether that fixes the problem Sometimes the antivirus accidentally thinks the file you're trying to open is malicious. So if you can open the file after you disable your antivirus software, that means it was being blocked by the antivirus. So in order to solve this, you can just put that file as an exception or in the whitelist column of your antivirus software and then re-enable it to fix the problem. If that does not fix the problem, then we move on to the next step. So for the next step, if the file that you're trying to open is removed, deleted or hidden, Windows will not be able to find it and thus not open it. So the easiest way to fix that problem is to just reinstall the program if it has been deleted or removed. So if you're trying to open up a program and it shows you this error, then just try reinstalling the program and trying to run it again. Now for the next solution, just go to your Windows search and then search for command prompts. Then just right click on it and then go to run as an administrator. After you run the command prompt as an administrator, I'll link the following commands down in the description below for you to check out. 
these are the dism commands and the sfc scan now command so just run these commands on your command prompt and do not just copy and paste them because that won't work you have to manually type these commands so just first run the dism commands that is the check health scan health and restore health commands and then run the sfc scan now command what these commands will do is that they'll automatically scan the computer for any missing or corrupted file and then download them or fix them automatically after you run all of these commands just restart your computer and check whether that fixes the problem if that does not fix the problem then it might be caused because of your firewall or windows defender settings so just go to your windows search again and then search for settings once you open up the settings search for windows defender and then it will show you a setting for windows security settings just open that up and then go to virus and threat protection now if you have a third party of antivirus installed it will show up here or if you have disabled it that means it will show you the windows defender so just click on the windows defender options and then turn off your windows defender to check whether that fixes the problem moreover what you can do from here is go to your firewall and network protection and in firewall and network protection just click on allow an app through firewall and once you do that just click on change settings and then locate the program that you're trying to run in the list of the programs displayed then just make sure that you have checked the checkbox for private and public right next to the program that you're trying to run after that just click on ok restart your pc and try to open the file again finally you can also try and disable a windows defender smart screen so just launch your windows defender security center from your start menu desktop or taskbar and then click on the app and browser control button on the left side of the window then click off the check apps and files section also click off in the smart screen for microsoft edge and windows store apps section and then that means the smart screen has been completely disabled so now just restart your computer and check whether that fixes your problem if that does not fix your problem then we move on to the final two steps and that is first going to group policy editor so in order to open up the group policy editor just go to your windows search and then search for run and in the run tab just search for gpedit.msc if you cannot open the group policy editor like this then you can go to your control panel and in the administrative tools you can find it there now in the group policy editor just find the windows settings and then security setting then local policies and then finally into security option then find user account control admin approval mod for built in administrator option in the menu then enable it and hit save after that restart your computer to check whether that fixes your problem if that does not fix your problem then we have the last step and that is to open up the command prompt again and run it as an administrator and after you run it as an administrator just type in net user administrator space slash active yes and i'll link this command down in the description below for you to check out just run this command and check whether that fixes your problem if that does not fix your problem then what you can do is just comment down below or email us and we can help you find the solution for your specific problem so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this video helped you guys Consider giving it a like if it did and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.